Astros gameplay video of... <clears throat> oh wait, I think I got that wrong. Yeah, I got that wrong. We're not doing gameplay yet. Yeah, there's nothing in this to do gameplay. I don't find that yet. Well, and welcome to Dirt Farm Boxes, the, uh, the Dark Souls Solar of Austria Amiibo, and the Halo Fleet Battles Fall of Reach box, or Star Box, which I got off eBay, because that's the way I can get them, because these foreign games maker of it went bankrupt, unfortunately. And yeah. That's pretty much it. I don't want to actually put it on that side because they're loose in there. I don't want to damage them. Uh, although they're they're getting to ship, so they don't have any parts sticking out. But anyway, let's start unboxing. You get in my hands. Now I got the now solar is like twenty something dollars. I have a box that I could look at, but I'm not going to. But yeah. And pretty much solar. I probably won't get out of the thing. I don't know yet. It does decrease value significantly, and this is going to be rare because I had to get because they had to actually get it online for me. No, or uh, you can ask. You can ask GameStop to order stuff online for you now. Even retro stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, do we unbox you? Hmm. Yes, we do. Yes, yes, we do. Ah, this thing is getting... Yeah, this thing is getting cold. I mean, it was it was a cheap thing off Amazon. It is Amazon Basics. Like, I had basic stuff die on me. It This will be the first. But then again, they're just cables. What can you do to a cable to make it die? And this came out a couple days ago. So let's unbox. Now, I don't want to actually damage the plastic, but can I do this? And I'm not going to do it like that. There we go. Do I cut towards myself? Boy Scout training. Oh, wait. There's an opening. Ah, let's go by the camera. That's not going to be smart. Okay. I'm far too shaky for this right now. I don't know, I just ate that actually. It's okay. Ah, it's getting tired yeah, anyway. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's getting. I'm trying to separate it. There we go. Come on. Oh. Ugh. Scratched. That's why I was holding my hands oddly. want to at least make it clean enough. Oh, I thought I was actually losing the blade. The warm-up brush, that's why I touched it lightly. Come on, come on, come on. Do we need a bit more blade? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm too shaky for this right now. I just ate. Ah, me, be, me being me, yeah, I'm probably sick or something. Okay, more blade. All blade. I'm actually cutting. This is actually working to an extent. I'm actually cutting the plastic. I'm actually cutting to the plastic. That's pure skill. Okay, let's not do that. Let's go over here. Use my left hand. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm far too shaky for this right now. Sorry. Mostly apologizing, mostly apologizing to myself. Yeah, I don't know why I'm again. I just ate. So annoying. Now, when you're cutting something, you want to be cutting with the same hand. So, like that. See, you, when, you, when it slips, you slip. You move your entire hand. You need to move a bit. Like you don't want to be holding a knife like this and cutting. That won't work. And also, here's why you should be ambidextrous. At least try. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Let's see? Okay, get that little motion. Looking the other way. I think I messed up here. Come on. Ah. Did I just seriously just cut the plastic? I probably could. Yeah, use this side. Oh, no. The power of, my, of meanness. Yeah. Working against me. Ah, there we go. We clear. We're clear. Now what? I gotta open it nice and slow, like. Oh, put that way. Come on, come on, come on. Here. Haha. Uh -huh. Ah, cinema. There we go. Ah, mostly perfect. Aha, uh -huh, perfect. There we go. I mean, you see the technique? It works. It's just that was my first time doing it, and I'm not a knife aficionado. My mom and my sister are. Mainly because they. Mainly because my mom is. Part, is part, is uh is the only part of the family my sister gravitates towards that side of the family. We kings or cantons use guns instead. And here we are, oh so there. Ah. There we go. Solaire, also known as Sunbro. By the way, this is why you need to this plate is why you need to unbox your amiibos so you can actually use some games. Because if you just put the entire, you know, use the case and put them down, this play will get in the way of any RFID signals, which is how my amiibos work. And here is Solar. Also doing the bro. And he's doing the Praise the Sun emote, or... Or, Praise the Sun. Uh... Which is a religious thing. And the world of Dark Souls. Now there we go. We'll put this away. And some bro will go up there. See, and then a little bit of tape. We'll get it. Just sip. Nice. Nice and neat. There we go. Which, by the way, uh, contrary to what I believed at first, Halo Fleet Battles did produce more boxes. A couple more. They have basically, you know, they have basically add-ons to give you more ships. Uh, heavy add-on gives you the, uh, well, yeah, more lc ons But also, Epochs, which are carriers, which, you know, are one of the largest ships at the time. Remember this? Halo Fleet Battles came out in 2015. Okay, go, go. You know, function. Do your button. Yeah, my button stopped working. Yeah, my button stopped working, so let's cheat. Halo 4. According to Wikipedia, Halo 4 is the first person shooter developed by 343 Industries <laughs> and published 
by Microsoft Studios for the Xbox 360 video game console. Why don't you release it? 2012, okay. So this released years later. So it does one. It does make you wonder why doesn't this have the Unity? It probably was gonna have the Unity later. They just never got around to putting the oh Infinity, not Unity, the Infinity in the game. They just never got around to putting the Infinity in this. And this is supposed to be, as you can see, it's Fall of Rage. It's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to be, um, you know, it's supposed to be the original trilogy era, which would make sense. And because that's so unexplored and stuff like that, yeah. Because the epoch, because there's, because the epoch was never put into, was never made, you know, was never put into, you know, was never put into, what's the game looking for, was never put into art. It was always in text. Well, I think it was the epoch, but, I'm, but I'm, well, it definitely was other ships. So there was two core expansions. One gives you tons of the frigates and hell, and I believe it gave you health and the other one gave you health on and the epoch. Same with the Covenant with uh, with their ships, and then they released one with a car with another carrier for you know see and an equal for Covenant. They always released equals. Any current don't recognize, but the one I do want, the carrier would be awesome. But the one I do want, these are the ships, is the unfortunately there's no super carrier. There's the o there's the Oris. Heavy carrier or O R C S heavy carrier, but that's not a super carrier. They made the super carriers at the end of the run, at the end of before they went bankrupt. Because I mean, it's not the end of the run before they went bankrupt. I also believe they. Oh yeah, they, I think they made a fighter expansion too. So yeah, there's that. And I do really want the super carriers. Now I I really want the Covenant one. And the Unity one would be pretty cool too, but I definitely want the Covenant one. And then Marathon. Oh, that's the Halcyon, yeah, that's Marathon. Never mind. I can not gonna tell the difference like the five men and frigates. We know this from my we know this from my gameplay videos of There's their logo. My gameplay videos of Homeworld, Homefront, which I do plan on returning. To doing more gameplay videos of that but also i want to do more video i want to do more videos of the sense of paris mod which is pretty much home front 2 made for sense of sense of star belly i forgot what it's called but you, you know it's before X rts that's not a i worked oh, why did you do that ah. okay but anyway this is the fact and now the time we've been waiting for, as you can see, this box is actually in really good condition. It, sh it shows that people really took care of their Halo Fleet titles. And yeah, I mean, there are Halo fans that wanted a t uh, tabletop game, which is my table. Which should, this will be my first tabletop game. Which I really wanted this to be my first tabletop game. I could have gotten. I could have gotten. Uh, Star Trek Amada. Which it's hard enough finding those because they're rare. Um, because well, they're not, they're not as popular. Or maybe a thing. Okay, maybe because uh, they're not as popular as, let's say, X Wing or or X Wing or any Games Workshop stuff like Boom 40K. There you go. Uh, this have a thing. Oh my word, it has a thing. I wasn't expecting it to have a thing. Okay, well that's one way to keep it shut. It's not new, it's pre-owned. Uh, so yeah. That's going towards myself, I think. Although if we... Yeah, actually I can't cut some more... I can't, I can't cut... Yeah, I can't... I, I, if it's left, I do that. Yeah. Wow, that's... Oh, that wasn't... The, what the heck was that into? Was that in, Was it into what I wanted to be into? I see the box bending when I'm breaking. That's what I want. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Ah, perfect. Ah, any damage? Yeah, I got a bit, a bit scuffed, but what do you expect from someone that doesn't use that doesn't use knives? I just like bare hands and scissors. Yes, yes. Oh, by the way, keep that down here. 
Again, they're loose. Slowly turn it over. Okay, you got a good view. Okay, actually, you better view oh, sky high. Uh, oh, now you don't want to. Um, oh, actually, yeah, the, I had to tie it right. Okay, that was the problem. You hold. I like. Oh, I forget. Unscrewed it too much. Here we go. My first view of the ships in person. Do I plan on painting these? Another thing I like about Halo Fleet Battles is they're not pre painted to set, uh, per, you know, per se, but they are good and they are colored enough to make do with. Because I'm not too much, and I don't, I'm not too much in that miniature painting fit, see. Although I probably will, because why not? I don't have any means to do it right now. You go here. Bam, and here's the box. And slightly, here's the box with the pieces in. Slightly worse condition. But yeah, and then, bam, bam, we just white box. Doing it for reasons. Yes. I don't like that sound. Okay. And in the back. And okay, that's fine. You need to be there. I think this is. Uh, are you sure? You, yeah. yeah. Boom. Down there. Down there. Okay, nice. And then bam. Ooh, come with your ritual paper. Chef from England. Could be box better. And then here is the cool rule book, which is why I need it. It's a, nice, a really nice book. Definitely been used. Oh, nice art. Looks very much like a Halo strategy guide. I mean, yeah. I'll be reading this in detail. Uh. It's possibly from a random person in England. It's my idea. You anything in here? No. Just packing material. I would so wear some eyes. You go with Solaire. Solaire goes there. And then here we go. Oh man, the pieces are tiny. It's smaller than I thought. See, nice black. This is a marathon cruiser. It's what. Uh, it's what the pillar of autumn was. I gave the ship from. Halo Combat Evolved or Halo 1. This is your Paris class frigate, my favorites. Really good detail on the miners. Really good. And really thick. Uh, yeah, very thick. thick. Then you got, uh, they're from Halo 2 and above. You see, well, that was uh, Miranda's ship. And also, you saw them with the key, the, well, with the key ship. Uh, and then, uh, I forgot when it was fine, like, in the middle of Halo 3, when when you went back to Earth and we're going to New York. Then you, which you are from Halo Breach, you are a multiplayer level and a campaign level. Oh, wow. Two scale. Then you got you, which you are a thing. You, I don't know, I don't know about you, you you're probably from, you're probably from books and stuff. Oh, re I can really get detail. Really nice feeling miniatures. Makes you wonder, how the hell do they went out of business? Okay, we got dice. This game uses it. This game doesn't use standard dice. It uses icons, which is pretty cool. Which is, and comes with normal dice. It would be, it, it, I know that would be easier for me to understand as to play or harder. So, uh, some of you who are veteran miniature war gamers, uh, can you please tell me? Yeah, these are pretty much to scale. We'll mess with them around later. And then he, here are the things where you put these ships on. And instructions, red sheet, you were calling there. Phone, you can go away for now. I don't need you anymore. But yeah, I mean, the reason why I didn't go anything more expensive was if I wanted two armies because, um, what are you calling there? Buddy from back. The reason why I would have to go two armies because 
because uh, heal up, because Xfinity up. Because X Wing and Star and instead so you have to assemble these. If you weren't getting amused, you are you. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Cards. Ooh, icons. Fresh. Ah, oh, these are like fighters and stuff. Okay, you go up here. Oh, whoops, sorry. More cards. And then chip cards. In a world of tutorial game adventure, I'll be playing my I'll be playing by myself or AK or maybe with luck and campaign guy in case you want to do pre-done missions, which I don't really want to. I'm gonna do it, I might do it one day, but not right now. And then here we are. The classic you're a cruiser, right? Uh, the classic Covenant Cruiser, which again you see lots of in Halo 3. And its expansion, Halo 3 ODST. Okay. Anything else that I need to pull out of here? Oh, this is just no. This is just no. Uh, I don't like this. I don't. And these are. Yeah. And these are terrain. You, um, unlike, uh, well, I mean, yeah, this is just terrain. You just play, like, the thing about this game is it doesn't have terrain terrain, unlike one of 40K or Infinity. Infinity was another choice I was going to go through. But, in, and then, where is the Epoch? I should know, it should be huge. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is huge. Wow, geez. So much hair is going to be on the camera. I'm so excited. It's huge. You? Covenant, Halcyon, um, Reach Ship, oh. so nothing got damage in shipping, which is good, even though they were very loose guys, you lucky, look smiles, and forget, which by the way, you can put mobile forgets, and I love the feel, they feel so nice, and some are painted, this actually is a painted one, which is, uh, which is okay, and he painted the mar he painted two marathons. This is what marathon looks like normal. As you can see, uh, well, it start painting up. Well, they start painting on the uh, marathons, uh, painting on that one. And not bad. I can always repaint if I like. Probably don't want to though. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine by I'm fine by using these ships being black for right now until I want to. Oh, what? Look at this. Uh, you did anything again? It's probably because I'm so excited I was messing with its electronics. Technically, but anyway. You go there. Okay. Oh, come on. And that's in the bomb box. In case something is wrong with anything. And yeah. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. Now, what I want to do is not keep it in that box. I'll keep the stuff in the box, but I need to find a thing I was going to keep it in the box with. I'm pretty sure it's over. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Here. 